Welcome to Hydro Engineering. This is a large aircraft turbine engine wash system model 12 forward slash 075 TEWS dash USCG. <clears throat> this system is, was developed for use on the Rolls Royce AE2100 D2 and D3 engines found on C130 aircraft. However, this wash system is not limited to the aircraft only. Uh, we'll begin with the other aircraft is the the procedures for the uh, C-130Js is more intricate, so let's discuss the other aircraft that this will also service. It will service the CFM-56 aircraft, which is found on your KC-135 refuelers, civilian side, that's your 737-6-800 series. It will also do uh, the uh, PW-2000, which is found on your Boeing 757s. Also, the, uh, it's the F-117 military designation, which is found on your C-17 Globemasters, as well as the Pratt engines on a C-5 Galaxy. This is done because they're fluid induction only. They, we have a, an apparatus that to interfaces with the, uh, with the maintenance operator's shepherd's hooks. They know how to apply the shepherd's hooks on the engines, connect this, and this will perform the same washing. Now to, <clears throat> to discuss washing your C-130 aircraft, H or J, J is a little different because Rolls-Royce has set stricter parameters on what's to be done. Primarily, all four engines need to be washed and a high RPM burn has to be done within 30 minutes from the first push of your fluid. Following, <clears throat> um, following the, uh, the directives set forth in IQIC-130J-2-72-001, you will note that it is required that all four engines are provided sufficient air to close the, the 12 and 6 o'clock fuel plugs on engines 1 through 4 through the whole wash cycle. This system is equipped with your fluid discharge controls as well as your air discharge controls. This will allow the interface on the, on, underneath the bottom side of the nacelles, underneath the cowling, to uh, QD to the air in the fluid. Rolls also requires that post wash, um, there the fluid line has to be put. The, the fluid line has there has to be an air push through the fluid line to clear the fuel lines of any residual water left behind. This is the only card on the market that accommodates that, and that's done by bypassing the air into the fuel lines. You do that for 30 seconds post wash. Sequence on this on the on the 130J is you're going to do one push. All pucks are closed. You're going to start with you're going to start with engine one. You're going to do your push. While that's soaking, you're going to move to engine two. While that's soaking, engine three, and so on. Then you're going to start. And you're going to do your three rinses. This can be done in 21 minutes. Setup time is no is less than 15 minutes altogether. Walking around the aircraft is our control panel. Again, here's your fluid and your air, and this controls everything that goes through your your dual hose reels which is also industry unique. You've got your air so you can, so you can uh, <clears throat> increase or decrease the air pressure going into each engine or going into the engines with the fuel pucks. If you need a little more air, if, if, the, if the engines are a little bit older and there's some degradation, you're going to need a little bit more air, you can increase that air. Fluid stays constant at 10 gallons a minute per TO. You got a 225 gallon water holding tank you got a gas pass solution tank. TO states that you've got, you, it needs to be a four to one on your gas path. So with a 65 gallon tank, you're gonna fill 12 gallons of your gas path cleaner, fill the rest with water, that's your four to one. You cannot, you, this, you can't do auto mixing because with the, with the wide variety of, of soaps available on the market, each has a different makeup, so therefore having a setting, it, it wouldn't be accurate. We have an auxiliary hose, air hose reel. This will allow you to bypass and have an air, run an air tool out of fly line if you need to, but this is also instrumental in being the bypass connection to blow the air through the, uh, through the fluid lines when finished. These are the four dual hose reels. As you can see, they're numbered one through four. And that correlates with number one, two, three, four engines on the aircraft. Once deployed and, <clears throat> and prior to connection, 
The operators are going are to bleed the lines and make sure that they're ready to go. We suggest that you bleed them with the gas path cleaner first because that's what you're going to be using. It takes approximately nine minutes or nine seconds to switch. Each of uh, the dual hoses are uh, sheathed and protected by a heavy duty rubber casing. This allows uh, movement across the tarmac and uh, protects the hose. Ball stops for each. We have an auxiliary water hose. This allows you to engage. You're gonna, you're gonna, this allows you to, uh, you're gonna connect a, a, a nacelle wash rinse gun to this. You're gonna turn this on. This is gonna wash the It gets any residual foam, soap left on the engine. Air tank, and we'll go to the business side of it. It's mounted on a heavy-duty steerable axle, which is required for flight line use. As with every hydro engineering trailer, it comes equipped with stays. It protects the, uh, the operators when this is open. Wind won't blow it down. You have a three-cylinder, water-cooled, heavy-duty diesel engine. Everything's ready to go. So this, again, is... The turbine engine wash system model 12 slash 075 TEWS USCG NSN 173001 592 2166. Thank you.